So about six minutes left in the third, a, a pretty passionate timeout call. You were It seemed you were challenging them defensively. Mm-hmm. Um, what were your thoughts on how they came out in the first half? Obviously, they got out to a biggest lead. It was 14. Yeah. You guys cut it down in the fourth quarter. What do you think kind of helped spur that? You know, I don't like to yell that much, but I felt like everything else that I was doing was not working. And it, my big thing is I don't expect this to be perfect, but I expect us to execute the way that we're supposed to execute. And for probably three quarters, Quarters, we didn't defensively and that's what we do we defend we rebound and we compete and so I challenged them like this is the time to do it this is the time to execute the game plan and we got better in the third quarter um, but fourth quarter if you look at the numbers I think they were four for 12 you know from the field oh from three from the, for the three because we finally executed the game plan and I know it feels like Groundhog Day saying we have to execute we've got to play for four quarters we have to do we do we're like we, we just have to do it because um, if we if we would have done what we were supposed to do defensively we would have been fine um, uh, quickly, aside from the game, really quick, injury updates, just wanted to – anything. Um, I know Lexi was out today, too. Obviously, Brittany hurt during the game. Yeah. And, and Kyla hurt during the game. Anything to share on those fronts? At this point, I just say it's me, not them. You know, I feel like it's, they just keep falling off like fl- like flies. I don't know. I know um, Kyla and um, – and Britt weren't available for the rest of the game. Um, I hadn't had a chance to get an update yet, and Lex has still been out. Um, so uh, we're going to work hard to try to get them some rest and get them back as, as fast as we can. What is the, I guess, the the philosophical change when, you know, players like that, you know, go out, especially somebody like Lexi, who I'm sure – today would have played a lot of minutes at the center position and you would have moved to Evan somewhere else. Well, you know, at the end of the day, I, I tell them the obstacle is the way. You know, whoever we've got at Davidson, we started five guards, you know. If that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. And we just have to get out there and do our best at what I'm asking them to do. And I say it all the time. Let me be wrong. Let me be wrong, and then I'll make the adjustment. But if you don't get out there and do what I'm asking you to do, then we're not we're not going to win. And so um, I, I tell them, regardless of what we're doing, you have to be you. Stop being robotic. Play the game. And I just think sometimes we get in our heads a little bit too much. And, again, anything um, that happens with this team is on me, so I have to do a better job of preparing them. The sets that you guys are running, what were the things that you were, you know, trying to exploit in terms of getting, you know, the ball in the basket? Yeah, I mean, we, we were trying to get downhill attacks via some uh, different ways. And we felt like if we were able to move the ball from side to side that we would be able to get that. Um, you know, Cunningham was guarding Kyla Silver at one point, you know, and that's a mis- mismatch for us. So, you know, trying to exploit those different mouse situations to be able to um, cause rotations. I guess they didn't believe that number 12 um, was a shot blocker, you know, Tiggett. I'm like, she's one of the top in the country, y'all. We got a shot faker. It went until she blocks four of our shots, then we start shot faking. So, um, you know, we just we just have to key in and execute on both ends of the court. And then the final minutes of the game, what were some of the things you liked or maybe some of the things that you thought you guys need to change for the result to end up in your favor, knowing that you were right there not the wire? Yeah, I didn't like our energy to start the game especially. Um, and, you know, we, we've been pressing a lot, and I think a lot of our in- energy comes from that. But sometimes, you know, you're not able to do that based off of lineups and different things that we were trying to run. You have to bring the energy individually so that it then is contagious between everyone. And I didn't feel like we did that great at the beginning. The second half, we were flying around. We were diving on the floor for loose balls. We were doing all the little things that you have to do to win the game. And like I said, we just – we, I think we might have cut it to six or uh, six or so. Um, we just have to, you know, execute a little bit better down the stretch to be able to cut that lead and get over the hump. Coach, anything you wanted to add? Something I didn't ask you thought was important to say about today's game? Well, you know, at the end of the day, um, uh, my group, they try to do what I ask them to do. And it's never like it's a defiant thing. I know they try. They play hard. Uh, again, we just have to keep executing. We don't, we're not happy about any moral victories. Oh, coach, you know, they're, they're getting there. They're getting there. We want to get there. And so we just have to keep keep working hard. And um, we thank everybody. We had a great crowd today for coming out. And hope everybody has a happy holiday. You too. Thank you. Thank you, coach.